stop. A family shop. Think Thayer. Come on, let's get rolling. Come on, let's get moving. Think Thayer. We have to be able to execute our plays, our game plan. We have to have a better understanding of mental toughness. Um, the hardest thing to do is, as a coach, you draw up a play, and as soon as we get onto the court, you forget the play. And when the play is for you, and you're the especially, you forget the play. Uh, it's just frustrating, um, but still a lot of season left, uh, a lot of time left, and we have a chance to correct it. And it's on to the next one. Can you give me an example of where you need to be mentally tougher? Mental toughness, if someone yells at you, you have to be able to understand why they're yelling take that into consideration, learn from it, and get better. We can't keep making the same mistakes over and over and over again. And now we expect different results. And that's been the case so far. We're making the same mistakes over and over again, and it's by the same people. So now we have to change that. We have to correct it in order to get better. We got to work on, uh, got to work on improving the guys. That's the thing. Um, it's hard in this situation because it's back-to-back -back game, so you don't have time at this stage. But uh, we have a couple days off for Thanksgiving to give them time to rest and get their bodies right and heal up a little bit, and then we're back at it. And we got to work on the mental side of the game more so than the physical. Uh, the first half, both teams, I mean, both teams struggled offensively. Was that? Am I right to say they struggled, or was there defense involved there? Or? For us, it was defense involved. We we did a good job of slowing them down, which is what we wanted to do. Uh, the halftime was maybe 25, 26, so that was right around uh, what we wanted to do. The second half, that's when we let them loose, and you know they score all of those points in the second half because mentally we weren't sharp. We weren't sharp in the second half. Um, our guys got to do a better job of taking care of the ball. We had careless turnovers. Uh, it wasn't Wes's fault on the turnovers. It's the guys who break into the ball. We told them, you have to break hard. You can't have break, and now I don't know if you're open. If you break hard, I see that you're open, and I will throw you the ball. But if you have break, and I don't know if you're really open, and I throw bad passes. So um, part of it is the passes fault, but I, I the receiver is the one who I blame most because we went over that. We went over that situation and we still didn't execute the way I wanted. Going back to your defense in the second half, is there a letdown when you know Green Bay shooting poorly from the field? You know they're a good three-point shooting team in there, one of whatever it was, one of 13, whatever it was. And I mean, is that the reason, or do you feel like you let down in the second half? We Not a, yes, it was a letdown in the second half, but it was us. Right. It's not dumb. Right. It, we, we're beating ourselves. They're not beating us. We're losing, yes, you see the results of a loss, but we're beating ourselves because we're not doing what we're supposed to do. And that's the part that's so frustrating is like, they're right there, you know what we, it's on the scouting report, everything. And, and we still let them do whatever they want to do. We got to focus on the defensive end. It's not the offense. We'll figure that part out, but we got to get stops on the defensive end. I'm just going to say which part is more frustrating. The, their, I mean, you see how their numbers shot through the roof shooting in the second half, and, and that's the bigger frustration for you than, than the offense for Beach. You kind of, I don't know, it actually was better. So props to that. But I mean, the, the defense is the frustration. Defense is the frustrating part for me because I, I see the defense. I look at the defense. Offense, it's going to be nights where we're not going to shoot the ball as well. 
We're, we're going to miss a lot of things. Defense is the one constant thing that we can do. Um, you have to be consistent defensively. Uh, I think that's effort on our part. We have to do a much better job. Uh, we're playing nine right now, but nine is enough. And um, guys have to get better. I mean, it's not about calling guys out and saying it's this guy or that guy. It's us as a team, all of us. And you did talk a little bit about the turnovers, about the receivers being responsible. Is, is that the simple fix for 16 turnovers? No, because it's not really the press. It's just like yesterday. It wasn't the press. It was when we get into the half court, we turn the ball over and just not execute. We got to do a, a better job of executing. And um, it's our key guys. It's not, it's not the reserves as much so. It's the key guys. It's the starters that's turned the ball over way too much. Kind of talk about the energy and the effort that you guys had a lot last year. It is the energy and effort is just there. It's the mental side of the game that we're having the laps on. We, we're not talking to each other on the defensive end, which is critical. If you want to play defense, you have to talk the whole time. Uh, we're not doing that on a consistent basis. It's, Sometimes, yes, and the rest of the time, no. And that's the difference. Uh, transition, we got to talk the whole time because you got to tell who your matchups are. We're not doing that. Um, it's frustrating. It's, it's very frustrating, and we got to correct it. That's it. And it's the key guys. It's the guys you depend on to do it well every game, and they're not giving that to us right now. Is that a teachable moment, Coach? I mean, is that something you can teach them? Uh, obviously, not during a short time out during the game, but is that a, a, something that happens in the gym or something that happens in a game? Or? It's something that we work on every day in practice. Now, mind you, it's a big improvement. So that's the sad part of what I'm talking about. It's an improvement, but it's not enough. It's not enough. They have to want it more than me. I, as a coach, you want it and you know what it takes. Now I'm trying to teach those guys to want it just as much as I do. And that part doesn't seem to get through, and especially when you got a shortened bench, when you don't have the subs to really hammer that through to them. You know, it's one thing, but then it goes back to, um, you got to play, I got to play anyway. So, you know, but hopefully we'll get everybody healthy and then we can correct a lot of the stuff that's going on now.